What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about the Purge franchise in this video here today. More specifically, the status on the Purge 6, the latest update on the Purge 6, or at least two people echoing each other at this point. So do you guys remember when the Purge election year was supposed to be the end? Then we had a nice TV show and then the first Purge came because they figured, well, election year ended the Purge so we can only do prequel stories now if we're going to keep doing these movies. Then it was decided, wait, we can actually just remove the political character responsible for ending the Purge and just reinstate it to do a sequel titled The Forever Purge, which was also expected to end the franchise. Then in 2021, there were reports about Jason Blum trying to get more done, trying to talk to the franchise creator. Now, recently, we've learned or we've reached the fact that or reached the point in regards to The Purge 6 that it's being billed as the final film. The Purge 6, which still has not yet been greenlit, but it has a script ready, is also being billed as the final film in the franchise. Back in July 2023, James DeMonaco, who created the franchise, spoke with the playlist about this upcoming film and addressed Universal being the holdup, as well as some plot details. He said, I wrote the script. Universal has seen it. There are concerns about budget, but it definitely presents a fractured America. The America I present in Purge 6 is where we all are separated by ideology and sexual preference. So the states are broken down in different ways. It's written, it's in Universal's hands. I think they're scared about the budget. But my thing was if I was going to come back and direct the sixth one, it was going to be something bigger and a little more epic in scope. With this new America I want to present and bringing back Frank Grillo's character. So it's kind of in limbo. Well, it doesn't appear to be out of limbo, at least according to Frank, who starred as Leo in Anarchy in Election Year. He said this more recently with Screen Rant. The script is done. It's basically centers around Leo Barnes, my character. It would be the last of the last of the last. It's like the guy who keeps retiring. James DeMonaco is going to direct going to direct it if it happens and it's a matter of money it's a matter of how big they want the movie to be how much money they want to spend on the movie considering they've done a lot in this franchise but it's a great script whatever happens with this movie i doubt it will be the last because the two movies previously were supposed to be the last the hesitation from universal if the budget is too high is also something i can say is understandable considering going too big and flopping would be bad for business if they want to keep the ip around and something that they can argue is still profitable especially since the last one was nearly 20 million for its budget and didn't cross 100 million the only one out of the four or out of the five that we have all the other ones i believe crossed over 100 million but it sounds like they want something higher than what the last one was even doing or at least the budget that's attached to it is something that's higher than what the last one was and that has universal kind of skeptical from what these these two keep echoing talking about it's a matter of money if i were to guess they probably want a budget of anywhere from 50 to 60 million and because the last one failed to cross 100 million they have their doubts that's my best guess but we'll just have to wait and see do you guys want to see another purge do you not care if another purge happens again the purge 6 as far as i know has not yet been greenlit we just keep getting constant updates about the script and the latest update that we now have is that this one is also going to be billed as the final chapter in this franchise they keep doing that because of the fact that creatively you can you can go into it with that mindset but what's the point of sharing that if you're going to keep making movie after movie after movie after movie after movie and it's not like they're having any sort of substantial breaks in between these movies it's not like we're getting screen three and then screen four ten years later and then screen four and then screen five ten years later it's not like they're doing that they're saying that these are going to be the last movies and then dropping movies three to four years after the fact that's not a lot of breathing room between your supposed final chapter and this new rebirthing of the IP that was supposed to be dead and gone. If I was going to compare it to anything, it sounds like it sounds like Friday the 13th. How many times was J Jason supposed to be gone? Granted, that was. Yeah, they, they literally are. They're at the same number. Jason was supposed to be gone two times prior and the franchise kept going. This would be their third time they're about to outpass or about to surpass jason <laughs> i hope the franchise can end on a high note that's really all i have to say i wasn't the biggest fan of the last one i also think that the franchise should have ended at election year but as i have addressed on this channel i can say what i want to i still have to acknowledge reality the reality is if you keep allowing these movies to be profitable 
They're going to keep saying, hey, we can always revisit The Purge. If they make new movies and they're not doing too well, they're going to say, hey, let's pull out one of our old IPs that they loved watching so much. And let's just reboot it and call it something different or at least make it a part of the same franchise so the general public can feel nostalgic and rush out to go see it. Because they're like, oh, remember when we used to go watch these Purge movies? And I also, I am a big fan of the Leo character. I wouldn't mind seeing Leo back. I just don't think it's necessary to make any more Purge movies. That's my whole stance on it. I think it's run its course. Granted, given the current division we have in it, or have in our country right now, America specifically, or I guess you could just say across the globe, sure, the concept of a worldwide Purge and whatever social commentary you want to input there could be very timely, as long as it's not very preachy and not beating you over the head with some sort of message like certain movies tend to do today. But what do you guys think about that update related to The Purge 6? Let me know down in the comment section below. Again, do you care? Do you not care? What do you want to see for The Purge franchise going forward? Do you want to see Leo back? Do you want to see a new character? Do you just want to see this franchise dead and gone? Let me know down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.